Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. I haven't done a vlog in forever, but me, Darren, the four dogs, and the donkeys are all moving house today. And you guys asked me to film a moving house vlog, so that's what I'm doing. Don't mind me, I'm getting like a zillion cold sores on my bottom lip. It's so annoying, I think I must be run down. So my bottom lip is like all puffed out, but I kind of like it. So, me and Darren are halfway through the move. We've got a truck. We're doing the moves ourselves, so we've got most of our furniture all downstairs here. Everything's just kind of like flung about, and we have a van. Pretty good, vanhire.ie. So we are in the process of moving everything out into the van, then we've got to drive to Donegal later. Also, we have a sick donkey, the dad donkey Jack. He's not well, so we're waiting on a vet to come out and see to him as well. He's, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> Hey guys, so we are now trying to move everything into the truck. The vet for our donkey Jack is meant to be arriving like basically anytime within the next hour. And it's already five o'clock, it's past five o'clock. I don't know how we're gonna get everything done. It's taking so much longer than I expected. <laughs> Also, Striker wormed his way out of going into the kennels today. All the other dogs are in the kennels. It's their regular kennels, they like it there. Um, to like, well, we intended to have all the dogs go in so that we could pack up the house easily. But Striker started shaking and being an absolute dick, being an absolute dingbat. So, Striker, Striker's still at home. <laughs> Okay, now we have to move our treadmill. This thing weighs a ton. <laughs> and that's another part of it. Whoa. Whoa, you got it. We've got a million and one things to do. Let's do it. And here's Steph farting around, trying to save his manure. He's gonna get crushed otherwise. Ah! Ah! Oh. So we have got the majority of the furniture in the truck, and the truck is almost full. And we haven't put our mattress in yet, and we haven't put our outdoor table in yet. I don't think the table's even gonna fit, and we haven't put our boxes in yet, so I don't know what we're gonna do. And there's still so much stuff left in the house. It's like 
7.30 p.m. now and the vet, the equine vet, is headed over now to come and see Jack the donkey. So I'm praying that he's all right. Let me show you how full the truck is. <sighs> we're hoping the mattress is gonna slide right here. I don't know where we're gonna put the other boxes though. I'm really gonna miss this house. I've absolutely loved living here. It's the longest time we've lived in any of our rental houses. Look at the wee cows. Hi guys. They're so cute. They're our landlord's cows. He's a farmer. So unfortunately these little guys are going to be on somebody's plate as beef and it makes me so sad because they're so clever and they're so gentle and they're so lovely and cute and they're just watching us they've been watching us like all day packing the truck so we'll strap all this up and then shall we bring the ma um, mattress down before the vet gets here okay the vet he's like basically here so we're gonna meet him now and then it's almost dark. We're gonna meet him now and then go see if we can find Jack in the field and see what's wrong with our poor guy. Oh, here he is. Okay, donkey update. We, the vet's just left. Oh my God, we've never met that vet before. In fact, we've never even had an equine vet of our own before, but he was so kind and so patient. His name's Dara. If anybody needs an equine vet anywhere in Galway, message me and I'll give you his number because he was brilliant. Um, he thinks that Jack, our donkey, hasn't actually hurt his legs or his back, but he thinks he's got a kidney infection with a touch of pneumonia. So he's given him two injections and given us two injections that we have to come back and give him on Monday. Monday? Yeah, on Monday. So I've got to give him the injections. I've never injected anyone or anything before, but he said kind of just under the skin or in the muscle of the neck. So fingers crossed I can do it. What's wrong with you, Striker? Why are you shaking? Why are you being silly? So thank God our little Jack is all right. And now we've got to get the mattress, that's what it's called, put it in the truck and then drive up to Donegal. Donegal is like almost three hours away from here and it's 20 past eight. So, busy day. Are we ready? We're gonna go? <laughs> All right, we're almost about to hit the road. This has been a fucking, this has been a long day. Started packing about two o'clock, it's now 10, 10 p.m. And we got a three hour drive. <sighs> but we're almost there, so the van is packed. We're gonna have a coffee. There's still heaps of stuff, like, scattered around. Um, but we're just gonna come back for that. Ain't that right, Pootie? The vet gave us these shots to give to Jack. So we gotta inject him, which we have no idea how to do. Mm. It doesn't say refrigerate, does it? Go to Donny Gold. You go to Donny Gold. Yeah. Go to Donny Gold. I'm making coffees for the road, for the drive, but I've just realized that I packed our takeaway coffee containers, so we're having it in these juice bottles. Should work. Oh, I didn't even boil the kettle. Damn it. <laughs> there we are, not so bad. Looks kind of cool, actually. Striker, you have some carrot left. Eat your carrot, chickenese, come here. Yum. Guys, my lip no longer feels like I'm growing 15 cold sores. I only ever get cold sores on my bottom lip and it's kind of like swollen still but last night I couldn't sleep because all I could feel was this like tingling burning sensation and I took Valtrex. If you guys get cold sores and nothing gets rid of them or stops them, ask your doctor because it's like it has to be it has to be prescribed by a doctor because I honestly think it's a herpes medication. That's too funny. But yeah, it's called Valtrex and it's an antiviral prescription medication. It's the only thing in the world that has ever stopped my cold sores when they start coming. Elysine doesn't work for me. The Vaculova one you get from the chemist doesn't work for me. Valtrex, ask your doctor for it if you get cold sores. Are you moving to Tony Gore? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, can't even see me anymore, but we're in the van, we're in the truck. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn this wee light on. How does it work? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're in the truck. Um, Strike is here, sat next to me. He's got, are you tired? He's got his harness on and I've just put the seatbelt through it because usually they're in the boot um, of our own car and that's like especially kind of kitted out for dogs but I've just put his seatbelt through his harness and I'm also going to be holding him. 
so he's nice and safe. And we're about ready to go. Ready to go, my love? Yes. <laughs> what did you say? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Hi! So today is day two of the move. Um, we didn't get into the house until 2 a.m. last night. It took us like four hours to drive up from Galway to Donegal in the truck because we had to drive slowly. And yeah, we made it last night and then we basically went straight to bed because we were so tired. Then this morning we got up and we unloaded the truck in the rain and we didn't vlog that because we just wanted to get it done, kind of. Um, but now the house looks like a bomb hit it. It's like stuff everywhere. This isn't even all of our stuff. Like we put half our belongings in storage in Galway. Like half of our furniture, half of all our stuff is in Galway. Anyway, so this is what we're left with. This thing is life. This is the massage chair and I basically live in this thing. We have to put it together though. It's all strewn across the room. The hallway is chock-a-block. There's Bunny. Hey Poodle! This is the lounge room. Um, we've ordered a lounge from Ikea, but that's not going to arrive until Tuesday, I think. And that's going to be like an L-shaped lounge to go there. We have a new rug. We went rug shopping last week and bought a rug and I'm so excited! Look at our new rug, it looks so nice. It's so soft guys. And it's not even wool. Oh yeah, my outfit today is so glam. <sighs> so yeah, we have to wait for the lounge to come, which is gonna go there. And this coffee table is already out, so we're gonna put that like here, instead of getting a poof. And the kitchen is also a mess. We have purchased a pantry, so the pantry is gonna go against that wall there. But that's also from Ikea and that's arriving on Tuesday. Striker! <laughs> Do you need to pee? Do you need to pee? I'll let you out. <laughs> oh, good boy. Go, go, go! We've also purchased a dog cage, like a dog run, because this backyard is huge, but it's not fenced. Um, so we have purchased a dog run, and it's going to go basically from that wall over there out here onto the grass, and then come back around here. And it's removable and portable, so when we move house, when we buy a house, we can take it with us. So when we have the whole house like all finished and all set up with like all our furniture and everything fully finished, I will do a new house tour. I'm so excited. I had so much fun filming it in the last house. So we'll definitely film that again so you guys can see it when it's all finished, like my filming room and the bedroom and the lounge room and all that. Straga, come here. Also my cold sores are totally coming back. I thought I was getting rid of them the other day, but they're back with a vengeance. I've got cold sore cream all over my bottom lip. <laughs> Tomorrow morning as well, we have to leave here at 6 a.m. to get the truck back to Galway for 9 a.m. because the truck hire people will need it back for 9 a.m. So it's gonna be an early morning. Then we're gonna pick the other dogs up from the kennels and bring them back here and keep going with the unpacking process. My Alex jaws! I have to pack these full of makeup again now. This is upstairs. This is our bedroom. And another rug. We bought another rug for the bedroom. It's going to go under the bed here. It's such a nice view of the water out there. And then in here, it's going to be my filming room with a guest bed in it. We've got to, we've got to figure it out. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. This is my filming room. You look so comfy. <laughs> I've got a new background. Like I bought this um, like a week before we moved and it's like gonna go up behind here and then I can get different colored materials and stuff like what other YouTubers have to put behind it and change up the color of my background sometimes so it doesn't get so boring like always being the same. So I'm excited about that and here's my wee desk that I film at. Strike is having a wee bum lick. Oh guys, my battery's running out and I don't know where I packed the charger. <laughs> so I may have to leave it here for this video, guys. I know it was, well, I haven't edited it, edited it yet, but I'm assuming it was gonna be a short one. But let me know in the comments down below, do you actually want me to film the updated house tour when the house is all finished? Let me know in the comments down below and give this video a like if you want me to. And if you guys haven't seen my last house tour where I did in the house we used to live in, in Galway, I'll put a card to it. No, I won't. I'll put it right here so you can click there and watch it. 
and I'll put another video just here that you might like as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, if you click my big head here, that'll subscribe you to my channel. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for being so nice to me on Instagram and wishing us luck with Move. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Striker, say bye. Say bye.